Yeah, let me just start over. All right, starting over. Starting over. Front snap kick. <laughs> We're just gonna take that one and go here. Boom. You're out. All right, go. Hey guys, Rich Graham here. Excited to speak with you today. As you know, our Full Spectrum Warrior website provides online training so you can continue to educate yourself and develop yourself from home if you don't have the chance to come out here and train with us in person. So, a new video that we have for the site that I think you'll get a lot out of is choosing your concealed carry weapon. This is a big issue. We get a lot of questions on this, Rich. How do we choose the gun? What's the appropriate gun? My wife wants to get a concealed carry or I just got my concealed carry, I'm considering it. We get a lot of these questions revolving around what is the correct gun for me to choose. There is no one gun. So in this video series on the Full Spectrum Warrior website, we're gonna go over 15 topics or 15 things that I personally take into consideration in choosing the correct concealed carry gun for myself and my environment. One example here of something to take into consideration is we have to have a balance. So many times, or for almost anybody, the larger gun is actually easier to shoot, it's more accurate to shoot, I can carry more ammo for this gun uh, depending on the model, but typically speaking a larger gun gives us more options and we can shoot it more accurately and faster. So, the problem here is that larger gun is really hard to carry and conceal. And if I find myself in an environment that is very low risk, a uh, very low threat environment, on a daily basis, one year goes by, or six months, or one month, or five years goes by, and I've never had to draw my gun in self-defense, which will be most of us, right? What happens is, if this gun is so big and cumbersome, although it is the best gun to actually shoot, I'm gonna find myself in a situation where I'm like, ah, this is kind of getting annoying, I don't really need this today, uh, nothing's gonna happen, and I won't, I wind up not carrying it. Well, the gun that I don't carry does me no good, right? So in this, we're gonna discuss how do I decide that balance? How do I uh, find that uh, necessity of my threat level, right? Which would determine me wanting to have a bigger gun versus my concealability and the practicality for the threat level or lack of threat level in the environment that I find myself in most often. So in this, we want to find that balance of finding the largest gun, right, that I can shoot accurately and capably, right, but also being the smallest gun that I need for my daily concealment uh, so it doesn't become annoying and uh, overdone and I will actually commit to carrying that gun every day. So again, that balance there inside size versus security, right, the, the balance of the threat level of what do I really need to protect myself or what are the chances that something's gonna happen? So again, in this video, I think you'll find a lot of great information. We will have follow-on videos coming after this on now that you choose the gun, well, how do you actually carry it? What are the preferred methods of carrying it? And that one's gonna be coming soon. So if you wanna get more information on this training and watch this video series, head on over to fullspectrumwarrior.us, click on enroll, register today for our full spectrum warrior online training membership and then go into the training library that you'll have access to and click on choosing your concealed carry weapon and enjoy the video series